Most of the summer, on a bicycle in a foreign country, way far away. He's a better man than I am, and he's Kevin Foster, and we're going to introduce you to him and tell you about the new world record he intends to set. It's coming up in the 5.30 Spotlight. In our 5.30 Spotlight tonight, Kevin Foster of Waterbury. Kevin is the man who is planning to become the first person ever to ride a bicycle the entire length of the Great Wall of China. Kevin will be leaving for the People's Republic later this month and will spend the summer riding the top of the wall. He's in training now, and get this, he cycles about 75 miles a day. Now, to find out why anybody would want to attempt this feat, we've invited Kevin to be with us tonight, and he's in the spotlight right now with Mark Davis, an avid bicycle rider. All right, thank you, Diane. This is a really a bit of irony. I won a 10-speed bicycle in a contest this morning, and I already own Did one, you? so I'm, yeah, I'm very much into 10-speed bicycles, although I don't spend as much time oh. on them as you do. Why would anyone want to attempt this? Uh, it said earlier in the little promotional segment for this interview that you have been wanting to do this since you saw President Nixon on the wall in 1972. Right. What I, happened in the meantime? Well, I was, um, I was 12 years old at the time, mm -hmm. and what I wanted to do was, was simply when, when Mao, Chairman Mao, took Nixon to see the Great Wall at Badaling, mm -hmm. I, that was the first time I saw it, and I said, God, I'd love to take a bicycle on that wall. And ever since then, I've been trying to get permission from the Chinese government to do such a thing. Now, in the meantime, of course, I do my own career, which is that of being an actor. Mm -hmm. and, and off and on, every couple of years, I just kept going back and kept going for it until finally I figured one day they will say yes. And they did. Yeah, they gave me my invitation. <laughs> now, how long is the Great Wall? I mean, I know it's, uh, you can see only man-made object they say you can see from the moon, so it has to be pretty long. Right. The, the wall, which is still standing one, two stories high, is some 2,300 miles in length. So you figure that'll take most of the summer? Oh, yeah. That'll take a good two to three months. What's the, uh, do you know anything about the uh, pavement on top of this? I mean, is this going to be a smooth ride? Or no, most of it, <clears throat> most of it's gravel, stone. Uh, the only thing that most people see uh, is the, what I call the tourist section of the wall, which is outside of Beijing mm -hmm. uh, at the Badaling section, which is about four miles paved that people go walking on. So right. that, that'll out be of, easy. Out of four miles, out of 2,300 will be my easiest section. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Diane mentioned that you're doing about 75 miles a day to get ready. Anything else to get ready? That's on my good day. If, yeah. I, if I have something else going, I'll drop it down to 50 miles. But um, no, that's, that's about it. Just ride my bike. And, and you've been assured by, by the People's Republic that no one else has ever done this before? Right, by their government, I've been assured that. I've also been keeping tabs on it for the last 15 years to mm -hmm. see that if anybody had come up with the same idea as me, but no one has. And as of April 18th, they sent, the Chinese government sent the invitation. So it's all set. You're going to be there. This will be uh, recorded on videotape or film for posterity? Yeah. Um, all three networks will do some kind of filming at the end, mm -hmm. and we're negotiating right now with any number of them to film it as a documentary. Should be quite, and of course you're going to be meeting different people and staying in different communities every night, I suspect. Yeah, the, the way it goes is it will start in the, in the west, toward mm -hmm. Inner Mongolia, mm -hmm. and we will, because that's where all the mountains are, and we will bike eastward toward the shore, to the shore. Yeah. Uh, from there, when I come to villages along the wall, I'll just get off and meet the people, and how do you do? It should be quite an experience. I, I look forward to seeing some of the film and videotape when you get back, and I hope you bring some spare parts, because I don't imagine they have any dealerships over there. Oh, that. yeah, yeah, it'd be hard to call Federal <laughs> Express, right? You know, out in no man's land. You're leaving the end of the month? Yeah, June end 29th. Of, and right, expect right. to be back? Early October? Hopefully October 5th, if all goes well. Well, good luck. All right. The Thanks ambassador a on a bicycle. This all started with ping-pong diplomacy, and now we have the bicycle uh, diplomacy. Yes. Thanks a lot, Good Mark. luck, Kevin. All right. Now, once again, here's Diane Smith. What an adventure. Still ahead.